Okay, here we are again. Uh, we're going to do another cognac review. This one will be on the uh, Decortet or Decorte XO. This is a fine cognac from France. I picked this up the other day and this is actually one of the uh, cheaper bottles at 50 bucks uh, with tax. You're looking to spend on a bottle of uh, Decorte XO 750 milliliter. Uh, bottle looks uh, pretty, uh, pretty much like the uh, Claude Chatelier. Uh, same, same shape. Happens to have like the uh, Pierre Chabagnon uh, top where it's concave here. Very similar uh, bottling. Very attractive. I like it. The gold top looks really uh, royal. So, um, I've been drinking this here. Put a little fresh one in here. You see how it looks. You pour it. And when you pour it, you know, just like most EXOs, you'll notice that it has the, uh, the amber look, amber color, gold tones. Smell it. it smells a little floral. Definitely some vanilla, spice, uh, sandalwood or oak, something like that. Some burnt wood in there. Uh, pretty good. Pretty good smell. The, the aromas are, are really nice and they're there. Uh, so it's time to go in for a taste. Pretty smooth. Taste the vanilla mildly, the oak wildly, and the um, flavors are pretty good in there. Um, time to wet the palate. We'll see what we have here. Now, if I was to say something um, particular to this brand and this uh, level of cognac being an XO, I would say that this is a very distinguished flavor. Um, kind of like a person with a, a loud personality that doesn't say sorry. Uh, spicy, bold, rich, full of flavor. And uh, just like a person that doesn't say sorry for who they are. I think that's what the goal was with this uh, product here. Uh, not as uh, soft or refined as some of the other XOs I've drank. But at the same time, it's spicy, it's bold, and it just doesn't say, you know, pardon me, sir. This is uh, very distinguished. I think they do that intentionally. Now, I, in my, some of my other videos, you'll notice that I always uh, drink the XOs uh, straight without chasers or mixers. But this one I'm going to try. I'm going to try it because I think... The flavors are reminiscent of a good VSOP, but it's not as refined as some of the other XOs. And I'm just gonna just go on a, off the deep end here, and I'm gonna put my favorite mixer in here, which is a cocktail juice, cranberry cocktail juice from Ocean Spray. Very good. First time mixing this these two products together. Um, let's see what we have here. And you know what? I kind of ex expected this. That um, the adding some cranberry cocktail juice would actually open up a couple levels or layers of flavors that this had to offer. Um, it just, I think I could taste everything, just a little bit more noticeable. Spa uh, flavors are just spread out just a little bit better. It, it is a fine cognac, it being an XO and all. Um, I think it's just a little bit finer than the, a VSOP. Not quite as fine as some of the higher end XOs but still very enjoyable, very distinguished, very bold, very flavorful, hits you with spice. 
I think walnut and maybe some dry fruits in there. And this uh, cognac does not say sorry. It is what it is. It's a good cognac and um, it's definitely worth a try. And by the way, this uh, is the cheapest XO I've been able to get my hands on. It was about $50 for a 750 milliliter. Uh, very well priced. And with that price point in mind and its bold flavors, I think they do that intentionally on this bottle. Maybe it's not meant to be the silkiest, smoothest, uh, you know, cognac out there, but it's definitely silky and smooth. But it does have the spice and some of the um, full flavor boldness that some of us do seek in a cognac. So with that being said, I'm going to have to give this uh, out of 100 score, I'll give this 89. And I think that's pretty good. I wish you guys to try the cognacs around the world. This is definitely a good one. Uh, and I hope you can get your hands on it. Enjoy a glass yourself. Drink it neat. Drink it on the rocks. Uh, get a full uh, grasp of what this cognac is about. Maybe settle it down a little and relax it with uh, your favorite mixer or cocktail drink. And... Um, before we go, I have to let you know to enjoy, fellas.